Shabbat Shalom. Oh uh-huh. 
Shabbat Shalom. Welcome to the last Shabbat of this year. Isn't that amazing? Another year and a whole calendar and then on Sunday night we begin a new year. So we'll start all again and next week there'll be another Shabbat. This is our back to school service. So all our students who are here, we are so glad to see you. We'll be glad to see you Sunday when you start school. And uh, are there any teachers? There's one teacher here. Mr. Adar is here. Any other teachers? There are two in the back. Oh, there's another teacher. And there are two in the back who will help out later. So we're going to turn to our opening, uh, not just teachers in general, the teachers from the, son, the school here, OK? But he is a teacher I know. He's a professor. Anyway, so. Um, <laughs> We are going to open with the kindling of the Shabbat candles, so I invite up Shai and Sharon to come up and kindle the Shabbat candles. אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר קידשנו במצוותיו וציוונו להדליק נר של שבת Blessed are you Adonai our God Sovereign of the universe who hollows us with mitzvot commanding us with, to kindle the light of Shabbat Amen. 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 turn to page 123 as Ivri leads us in Kiddush. Please rise. together at the bottom of page 127. We offer thanks, O God, for this Shabbat which unites us in faith and hope, for Shabbat holiness which inspires sacred living, for Shabbat memories glowing even in darkness, for Shabbat peace born of friendship and love. We offer thanks and blessing, O God. We'll now turn the page to 128 as we continue with the singing of Hine Mato.
be together to celebrate Shabbat. We'll turn now to greet Shabbat with Lachado D. You find Lachado D on pages 138, 139. We do verses 1, 2, 5, and when we get to verse 9, the fourth verse that we do, we turn and face the door to greet the Sabbath bride. Lachado D. possibility of ascent is all the time. Even at unlikely times and through unlikely places, there is no place on earth without the presence. <laughs>
ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם אשר בדברו מעריב ערבים בחוכמה פותח שערים ובתבונה משנה עתים ומחליף את הזמנים ומסדר את הכוכבים במשמרותיהם ברקיע כרצונו בורא יום ולילה גולל אור מפני חושך וחושך מפני אור מעביר יום ומביא לילה ומבדיל בין יום ובין לילה אדוני צבאות שמו אל חי וקיים תמיד ימלוך עלינו לעולם ועד ברוך אתה אדוני המערים הרבים 151 As you taught Torah to those whose names I bear teach me Torah too Its mystery beckons, yet I struggle with its truth. You meant Torah for me? Did you mean the struggle for me too? Don't let me struggle alone. Help me to understand, to be wise, to listen, to know. Lead me into the mystery. Baruch atah Adonai, Ohev Amo Yisrael. Shema Yisrael Adonai Continue on page 157 together. <coughs> Standing on the parted shores of history, we still believe what we were taught before ever we stood at Sinai's foot. That wherever we go, it is eternally Egypt. That there is a better place, a promised land. That the winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness. That there is no way to get from here to there except by joining hands and marching together.
161 as we continue. Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Adonai, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up waiting to do your will. Yeah. 
תגי בור לעולם אדוני, מחייך כל הטרף לחושיע, מוריד חטאל, מחלקל חיים בחסד, מחיים מתים ברחמים רבים, סומך נופלים ורופא חולים, ומציר אסורים, ומקיים And please be seated. Page 173 as we continue together. May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. And may this day fulfill its promise. Baruch Mekadesh Shabbat. רצי אדוני אלוהינו בעמך ישראל, ותפילתם באהבה תקבל, ותהי לרצון תמיד עבודת ישראל עמך. ברוך אתה אדוני, שאותך לבדך בירה נעבור. God of goodness, we give thanks for the gift of life wonder beyond words, for the awareness of soul our light within. For the world around us so filled with beauty, for the richness of the earth which day by day sustains us, for all these and more, we offer thanks.
peace where it is most needed and we gather those thoughts, that energy and this community in prayer as we think of those in our community who for weakness of body or weakness of spirit are needing our attention. And we say, Mishaber Chavotenu V'imotenu Avraham Yitzchak V'yaakov, Sarah Rivka Rachel Valea, Hu Yivarech Et Acholim. May the one who blessed our ancestors Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Sarah, Rebecca, Rachel, and Leah bless and heal, give strength and patience to those who are struggling. This evening we are holding in prayer Jim Buran, Shana Esterbutt Ruchel, Florence Sporn, Steve Brent, Barb DeCario, Mark Friedman, Patrick Doherty, Jason Margolis, Jeffrey Kirsch, Elizabeth Friedman, Shalom Ephraim Binyamin Ben Leah Mina, Evelyn Mitzner Wool, Sarah Graf, James Boyle, Dick Kreuter, Marty Jacobson, Bacha Leah Bat Etel, Beth Shackman, Liz Ornstein, Thomas, Thomas Di Matteo, Shulamit Bat Fruma Veruvain, Ira Coleman, Rini Feingold, Ishaya Edel Ben Gittel, Bon Bonnie Hughes and Reverend Marlo Washington. If there are other names that you would add or names spoken aloud properly by you, please, as I look your way, those who need our healing and those who need healing and wholeness and should be included in our prayers, please mention those names aloud for us as I look your way. Mary Babbitt. Brenda, Tony, Jessica Montalbano. Jerry Greenstein. May the Blessed Holy One be filled with compassion for their health to be restored and their strength to be revived. May God swiftly send them a complete renewal of body and of spirit as we join together in saying, Amen. Page 371.
short story for us to consider as we head into these days of awe and as we, how many of you started back to school this week? Raise your hand if you started back as student or teacher. As we head back to school, as we start a new, it is uh, a story for us to consider a short one and I share it with you now. A long time in, in Jerusalem there was a boy named Natan, which in Hebrew means he gave. And Natan, who in English we call Nathan, loved flowers. Anything he planted would burst into bloom. Up came flowers, bushes, and even fruit trees, as if by magic and by his hand. Everyone in Jerusalem loved flowers too. They planted them everywhere, and the air smelled always like perfume. The king at that time loved everything about Jerusalem. He loved birds and animals, but flowers most of all, and he tended to his very own garden each and every day. But the king was aging, and he needed to choose a leader to replace him for after he was gone. Who would his successor be? Who would come after him? And how would the king choose? So because the king loved flowers so much, he decided to let the flowers choose. And the next day, a proclamation was issued. All the children in the land were to come to the palace. There they would be given special flower seeds by the king. Whoever can show me their best in a year's time between this Rosh Hashanah and the next, he said, that person will succeed me to the throne. This news created great excitement throughout the land, and children from all over the country swarmed to the palace to get their flower seeds. And each and every parent wanted their child to be chosen king, and all the children hoped they would be chosen too. So when Nathan received his seed from the king, he was the happiest child of all. He was sure that he would grow the most beautiful flower. So Nathan filled his flower pot with rich soil. He planted the seed in it very carefully. He watered it every day. And he couldn't wait to see it sprout and to grow and to blossom into what he knew would be a beautiful and fragrant flower. And day after day, each hour that passed, Nothing grew in his pot, and he became very worried. So he put new soil into his pot, and he transferred that new soil into a bigger pot. And then he transferred the seed into the rich black soil. And he waited for another two months, and still nothing happened. And by and by, the whole year seemed to pass him by, and the fall came, and all the children put out their best put on their best clothes to meet the king. They rushed to the palace with their beautiful flowers, each one so proud and eagerly awaiting to see who would be chosen. And Nathan, Nathan was ashamed by his empty pot. He thought for sure the other children would laugh at him because he couldn't even get the smallest little bud to grow. His clever friend ran, friend ran by holding this great big flowering plant and said, Nathan, you're not really going to the king with an empty pot, are you? Couldn't you grow a great big flower like mine? <clears throat> I've grown lots of flowers better than yours, Nathan said. It's just that the seed won't grow. Nathan's father overheard this and said, you did your best, and your best is good enough to present to the king. So holding his empty pot in his hand, <coughs> Nathan went straight to the palace, and the king was looking at each flower slowly, one by one, and how magnificent these flowers were. Such colors, such beautiful aromas. But the king was frowning and he didn't say a word. And finally he came to Nathan. And Nathan hung his head in shame, expecting to be criticized. 
And the king asked, why do you bring an empty pot to me? And Nathan cried, and he said, I planted the seed you gave me, and I watered it every day, but it just didn't sprout. I put it in a better pot, I put in better soil, and it still didn't sprout. I tended to it all year long, but nothing ever grew. So today, I bring you this empty pot without a flower. It was the best I could do. And when the king heard these words, a smile slowly spread over his face, and he put his arm around Nathan and he exclaimed to one and all, I have found him. I have found the one person worthy of being king. Where you got your seeds from, I do not know, he said to the rest. For the seeds I gave you have all been cooked, so it was impossible for any of them to grow. I admire Nathan's great courage to appear before me, having tried his hardest and bringing his best, even when he fears that his best is not good enough. That is a child. This is a child to celebrate and admire. And this is the child who deserves to lead our people. So Nathan became a great <coughs> gift to himself and to Jerusalem and a superb ruler of the land. At the start of this new year, all that is asked of us <laughs> is to bring our best, to try our hardest, and to be truthful. What month is this? September. September. Anybody have a birthday in September? <laughs> Come on up. Come on up. Come on up. Even for the 
shy ones. We bless all our children on Shabbat. Those who are here with us today, those who are below the age of Bar Mitzvah, those who are above the age of Bar Mitzvah, those who are not here with us, we offer blessing. You have Echad Adonai Bishvin Echad. May God bless you and watch over you. May the light of God shine upon you. May God be gracious to you. May the presence of God always be lifted up to you. May you feel God in your heart. May you be blessed with Shalom. You may head back to where you were sitting, but don't sit because we'll all be standing in one second. <laughs> Turn now to page 586 for the Aleinu. We second paragraph on page 586, then go to 588, and then 591. extend sympathies to all who mourn the recent deaths in a period of Shloshim, first 30 days of mourning for Agnes Ege, the mother of Deniz Schildkraut, Adriana Barbash, the mother of Alan Skirka's sister-in-law, and Milton Rapkin, our member and husband of Linda Rapkin. We remember the yard sites, the anniversaries of the deaths of Belle Bedanes, Molly Barnett, Ruth Bershad, Lois Bissett, Joseph Brooks, Robert Drexler, Bernice Finver, Sophie Gorfine, Carl Gottschalk, Jacob Kagan, Molly Kraus, Joyce Kuttner, Melvin Leventhal, Ruth Lewis, May Lobenheim, Stephen Moss, Ruth Marcus, David Memorov, Meta Nussbaum, Tra Catherine Plough, Barney Rapp, <coughs> Alex Rappaport, Bernard Resch, Rose Rose, Shirley Rosenbaum, Martin Rosenzweig, Phyllis Seidman, Beverly Sigalo, David Silver, Morris Tab, Lawrence Wagner, Fanny Yalowicz, and Sylvia Yakowitz gordon Are there any other names of people that you would like to share of recent deaths or yard sites? May their memories all be for blessing. Mordis Kaddish is found on page 598. Yitkadal, Yitkadash, Shemei Rabbah. 
Shabbat Shalom. Um, I prepared a half an hour ceremony, but we'll do it for five seconds. I would like to welcome all the new students who never was, were here before, either kindergarten sprouts or newcomers, new members, and the students who are veterans who are, were here last year and are going to be here for many years to come. We have great staff as every year. But you know, we, see, we always say that, especially when we have high holidays, that we all will always reach to a higher degree. Always higher, always. It's not enough what we have, we always want more. And this is our motto is our school, is that every year we try to have new things coming up. We want to have better program. And I'm very happy to let you know that we have the staff to do that. One thing I would like to mention, which we're going to have this year new, and you have reached, you have received email from me about it, which is our mitzvah market. And one of the things that I would like to emphasize it is that again we try to do new things every year, and this year is we thought how can we better our mitzvah day that we have every year. And we teach to our students that a mitzvah day is every day. So we hope that all of you will come here on Sunday from 9.30 or 9 o'clock to 11, have breakfast with us, and then visit one of 15 tables that we're going to have here for different uh, organizations that offer something to do during the year and then enrich our lives and lives of others during the year. So I welcome all of you to here. And um, the teachers who are here, if you can just stand for a second. I will not call you to this BMI, just to see who we are, we have here. Thank you very much for coming to be part of the service. And tell you the truth, this is really one of the happiest moments of the year that I know that in two days we're going to be full with kids here after a summer of silence and quiet go to you know from classroom to classroom there's no one over there and we're going to have many kids together here so shabbat shalom and thank you for coming shabbat shalom. our custom here is to greet each other with a shabbat shalom so why don't you turn to somebody you don't know greet them with a shabbat shalom introduce yourself Tell them whether you're a member or a visitor. Okay, okay, so following the service, following the service, uh, Anyone who is uh, part of the Shafrir Shabbat dinner will be heading down the hall that way for their Shabbat dinner. And the rest of you are invited into the social hall for the other Shabbat dinner. Um, 
Tonight our board greeter was Ellen Goldenberg. Ellen is uh, one of our vice presidents in charge of ritual practices, and so uh, she's here to greet you. If you have any questions, ask Ellen. She knows a lot of answers. Uh, tomorrow morning at 9.15, we continue with uh, Torah study, or Bible study. We are continuing, we're in the eighth chapter of Jeremiah. Uh, and then at 10.30 a.m., Ivre Shafrir is going to come a bar mitzvah and lead us in worship. Mazel tov to you, to your parents, Shai and Sharon, and all your family and friends who are here. Uh, to Sunday, as you heard, is the beginning of uh, school. Uh, and Mr. Adar said the breakfast is at 9, the classes start at 9.30. Um, and then we have Rosh Hashanah gift uh, food baskets people are putting together to give to people who might need that extra food at 9.30. Uh, we have the mitzvah market. And then at 8 o'clock in the evening, it is the new year. We will begin at the JCC with our Rosh Hashanah services. Monday the 10th at 10 a.m. We will gather there again uh, for services. There are family service and, and other services. Um, following the services in the morning, we have a board reception, refreshments, light refreshments in the uh, cafe area um, after services. And then um, we invite you to our home, Jan and I invite you to our home on 41 Toby Brook at 4 p.m. in the afternoon um, to cast your little bit of bread. You don't need to bring a whole loaf, please. Just a couple of crumbs into the waters to cast off your sin and then come in the house and enjoy some sweets with us. Um, and we love to see you. Tuesday the 11th, for those who celebrate a second day of Rosh Hashanah services here at Temple Sinai, the first two days were at JCC, but here at Temple Sinai at 10.30. Next Friday, Shabbat services are at 8 p.m. Is there a schmooze next Friday or not? Yes, there is a schmooze at 6.45. Saturday the 15th, of course, Torah study and then service at 10.30. And then Tuesday the 18th at 8 p.m., we're back at the JCC for Kol Nidre service. And then the 19th, we begin in the morning at 10 a.m. and we have all the afternoon projects. You can read about them in the bulletin. I don't have to list them all now. And then at the end, for anybody, because sometimes people don't hear this, if you have a shofar, at the end of services, the end of the day, please bring your shofar and we make a big uh, tekiah gadola and uh, we all do that together. I just want to mention that there is a Brighton uh, Believes Erase Hunger, Erase Hunger uh, 5K family run on the 16th at 9 a.m. Um, that's with Jewish Family Service. And we have a new Tat Shabbat program this year and that begins on the 28th. What age is that? Zero to four preschoolers, and um, and that begins on the 28th. Interactive service, arts and crafts, and fun activities for the children. Now we have something special that is also being started tonight, and that is we are doing some holiday crafts and, and activities in the back there with Mr. and Mrs. Reader. And that's hard to say, even though I was there when it happened. Um, <laughs> Anyway, so uh, so at, at, at dinner, so the kids have something to do. It, it'll be really nice. Um, and um, we want to thank um, the Shafriers for co-sponsoring the Oneg in honor of Ibrahim becoming Bar Mitzvah. Any other announcements? Any other good news? Yes. Our daughter Amy is pregnant. <laughs> okay. Number two. I, I realize that. Yes. I saw the first week of middle school. Okay. Glad that you started school. That's great. That's really, and we are so glad that Abby is now in town. Because um, they've been married for a few years and living in different cities. And uh, it's so glad that you're here with us more full time and, and welcome. Any other good news? Yes. That's great. That's great. Okay, so before we go into eat. We're going to say the mozi together. So, please join me. Keep it coming up here, sorry. Baruch, Atah, Tanai, Amin, Atah, Kabbalah, and mozi, black and in my hearts. Amen. Ready for our closing song? We invite what? all the children for a closing song. All the children come up and help. Come up, everybody come up. Help Cantor Braun sing, Oja Bo Shalom Aleyh. 
any hand motions that you know.
Thank you. 